Welcome back to Furno Connections. This is the final part of our fish finder testing. Today we take a look at AccuFish, which is a feature that allows you to see fish size and fish depth. We also take a look at bottom discrimination, which allows you to see the makeup of the seafloor. And finally, we'll take a look at bottom lock and bottom zoom. But first, let's take a look at the new TZ First Mate app. This is a new app that allows you to connect your mobile device to your TZT3 so that you can log your catches. And we're talking about being able to take pictures of your catches or even of special locations and then have that transferred onto your TZT3 display. So let's dive in and finish our fish finder testing. So Eric, with all these fish down there and we catch one, how can I document this? Excellent question, Cap. You know, with TZ Touch 3, we've introduced a new app that you can go on the App Store or the Play Store, if you have an Android phone or an iOS phone, an Apple phone, download the Furuno First Mate app. It's a free app. It's really pretty small and compact. You can, I have it on my phone already. If I click Furuno First Mate, it opens up the app and I can just at the bottom say log catch. It's really super easy. And if I want to take a picture, you can use an existing picture or take a new picture. I'm going to take a new picture because we just caught the fish. So I'm going to take a fish. <laughs> I just took a picture of a fish, right? And then it says what kind of fish. We have a whole list of species to select from. In this case, I'm going to say that the fish was a dolphin fish. So I select dolphin fish brings it up here, I say, you know, 200 pound dolphin fish. And I just click right here, I, I can put, I can log the weight and the length. 70 inches, baby, there we go. That's a giant dolphin fish. And I just did that and then automatically that fish will be logged when I go down and select my screen. You'll see right here, there's my dolphin I just caught. And if I click on it, Actually, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit because it thinks we're on the line. I'm gonna click on it. You can see I can look at, the, <laughs> look at the dolphin fish and even blow them up and see nice and big. What else can you log in it? You know, that's a great question, Cap. One of the great things about the First Mate app is it's not just for fishermen. It's also for cruising people or anytime you wanna log a photo. So for example, we're down here at a really famous uh, place, the, the Sombrero Tower right there. I can just turn on my, uh, just run the app and say law, uh, add photo and I'm just going to take a picture and it'll automatically geo-reference it and once I say okay it'll automatically pop the photo right here I'm going to say sombrero tower and say done and then once I say okay it automatically appears directly on the display I can touch it and you know I can move it or edit it or just touch it again and blow it up and make it nice and big that's awesome. Really awesome. Yeah, anything, a beautiful sunset, anything, you, or just a picture, you know, the, of the boat or anything you want to take, it's really easy to log and document photos now with TZ Touch 3. That's great. So First now if I out. wanted to move this. Yep. Well, touch right on it. Touch right on it and move. And they move. And then I can bring it actually yep. right over here right, to. Yeah, right on the tower. Yeah, right on I, the tower. Absolutely, you can do that. That's great. Yeah. yeah. So, and, and then just say and move. And then and move. It's really simple to do. And right now I just have a point to point connection. We don't have internet out here because we're on the water. I just have a point to point connection between my MFD using a Wi-Fi connection and my phone. And it's just that simple. And then when I get back, if I do connect my, uh, my phone or my, you know, when, when I do back, uh, when I get back in 4G range, it'll automatically save that all my images to the internet. So it's automatically s stored in the cloud. Really simple, really cool way to document and log all the fishes that you catch. Really awesome. So another great idea for the use of the first mate app from Furuno with TZ Touch 3 is if you have a drone and you want to take a picture, you can easily just snap a quick picture. I just took that picture of a Sombrero uh, Lighthouse Tower. And now I can take that picture, it'll go into my library. Once I open up my First Mate app, I can then suck that picture right in and put it right on the uh, uh, TZ Touch 3 display. It's really easy and also save it in the cloud at the same time. So it's a great idea for drones. Any imagery you want to save or it's in your phone already, you can easily add it and archive it and store it you know, in your, in your TZ Touch 3 MFD and also in the cloud at the same time. Okay. 
So Eric, we're looking at the True Echo Chirp in the new TZT3 unit. How does the AccuFish feature work? How do you know? The AccuFish feature is designed to show you the length of the fish that you're over. And the way it works is that uh, the fish itself has to be, you have to pass over the fish with both the high frequency beam and the low frequency beam. And in order for, and in order for that to happen, the, uh, the, the transducer has to be designed in a certain way. It needs a certain, uh, certain transducers have a narrow beam high frequency and a wide beam low frequency. And when, it pa when the fish passes through both of those beams, we can do a comparison analysis in how it looks and how it measures against uh, our, our electronics or our circuitry in both beams and we can calculate the fish size. So it's actually pretty cool. When the fish passes through both beams, it'll give you a number. If it only hits one beam, it won't give you a number. Number. So that's gotcha. how you know. If you, if you get a number for AccuFish and it shows up right next to the fish, it'll show it to you in inches. If you're in uh, if you're in feet units, for example, or centimeters. If you're in meters for for Europe and other parts of the world, you know it could determine whether you want to drop on certain fish or whether you want to pass those fish and go for larger ones in a different area. Now, how about the bottom discrimination? How does that work? That's a that's a another great question. You know, with bottom discrimination, we use the same kind of comparison and signal processing that we do with the AccuFish mode, for example, the AccuFish feature. So with bottom discrimination, again, we're comparing how the bottom returns look at both a narrow and a wide beam. And we can use that information based on our own testing to say, okay, these kinds of returns, when we look at it with the narrow beam high frequency and the wide beam low frequency, we can tell that that's most likely gonna be sand or most likely going to be mud or rocks wow. or gravel. So that's a way that we actually process that information and we'll pop it up in a texture on the bottom of the display that you can easily just look at and automatically identify really quickly. So the texture has different kind of uh, appearances and when you're over rocks it looks like rocks, when you're over sand it looks like sand. Wow. So it's really easy to understand and you know, a crab fishermen, for example, they're looking for uh, like a gravel or a certain kind of bottom that would that where the normal where normally a crab would have its you know crab habitat. Yep. Uh, maybe for rockfish, you're looking for rocks, so you may be running along, not knowing what you're over. Take a look down and say, "Holy crap, that's that, either, those are rocks. That's the kind of bottom that I normally catch a certain kind of fish on." Just stop there, drop, and boom. <laughs> So as we're going through all the different features on System A, um, I came across a feature found in the Furuno fish finders that I was looking for on System A, and it's what Furuno calls AccuFish. And AccuFish offers you information on the fish size and also bottom discrimination, what the bottom sedimentation is made up of. And I'm not seeing that on System A. And as far as bottom discrimination, discrimination is concerned, how important is it for you to know if you're on mud, if you're on rocks, if oh, you're huge. on gravel? Huge, I mean, because if, okay. you don't, if you don't know what kind of contour you're fishing on, um, that, that could determine whether you're catching it or you're not catching it. Uh -huh. You know, a lot of fish aren't going to obviously eat in the mud. You know, there's going to be more fish that are going to eat on harder bottom. You're going to have a more concentration of bait on that harder okay. bottom. So definitely, that, that plays a, a huge factor. And here. essentially makes your life a lot easier as well when completely, you're out in charter. Completely. It takes the guesswork out of right, stuff. Right, right. <laughs> go into the menu, so we can go down under more options, there is, uh, we can go down to uh, turn the fish ID on, where it'll turn on the little fish symbols and put their ID number and their depth of where they are in the water column. You've been hearing some of the features built into the TZT3 fish finder such as AccuFish or bottom discrimination. You know, with bottom discrimination, we're able to show you what type of bottom you're over, such as mud, sand, gravel. Uh, and then AccuFish is gonna allow us to predict the size of the fish that you're marking on your screen. Uh, you know, sitting here on System C, you know, unfortunately we don't have those features built into this unit, but what we are able to do is we can see the thickness of our red line, and we should be able to use that to kind of tell us what kind of bottom we're on. It's not gonna be as easy as just saying, oh, we're on sand or we're on mud, but the ability is still there, but those features are not gonna come with those unit out of the box. So 
So Eric, on the TZT3, you have a bottom lock and bottom zoom. Right. What's up with that? All right, so depending on you know conditions and how you want to see the presentation, you can change from a bottom lock mode, which will basically flatten out the bottom on the left side of the screen. And bottom zoom mode won't flatten out the bottom, but it'll zoom in on the bottom you know, section that you're interested in, right off the bottom. So it's really easy to change. Okay. If we just touch the screen, select our mode, and go from, a, for example, right now we're in single frequency, let's go to bottom lock and watch how that just flattens out the left side of the screen. Both 200 kilohertz presentations in this case, but you'll see that bottom lock will automatically take the bottom and flatten it out. So if we're, if we're in rough water, we're, we're rolling right now pretty good, you know? And one of the nice things is that'll take that and just zero that out and tell us exactly how far off the bottom the fish are. Gotcha. So it locks it and gives you a presentation for, of depth from zero up to say the bottom 30 feet of the, uh, you know, in this case we're in 250 feet. We're looking from 250 to 220 right here. Wow. You can see all those fish targets, all those fish signs. It's a zoom mode in effect. Okay. And if we change it now, if we, want to, if we want to change the presentation a little bit, we can also go to the bottom zoom mode. Easily, a couple keystrokes, really easy to change. That's the nice thing about TZT3 is that the user interface allows you to really customize and it's a contextual menu, so it's really simple. In this case, you see how the bottom isn't flat anymore, but we're zooming in on the bottom 30 feet rather than having a top-up approach or, the, or a bottom-up approach. We're looking at just a section of the bottom zoomed up. That's great. A lot of times on these wrecks, like we're out here in 240 plus feet of water, I bottom fish for those big pink mutton snappers. Right. And you know what? I can actually see these fish better when it's zoomed in. So I know when our clients are dropping down, I can see the fish go from say 230 feet, go down to 250 feet and actually eat the bait. Yeah, My boom. clients are definitely impressed. <laughs>so right now we're looking at high chirp on the left low chirp on the right so we got a split screen we're looking at both frequencies just so uh, you know as we go through learning this and seeing what it looks like at the marathon hump we're using both frequencies so we're using the high chirp for better detail and low chirp for more depth penetration uh, but if we hit the home button we can look at some of the different sound reviews available to us whether it be just traditional we have some zoom uh, screens we can set up so let's take a look at a zoom screen trying to figure yeah, out exactly fine. what I'm looking at. So am I zoomed on the left? <laughs> because now they're both at 50 kilohertz. Oh, you know what? Let's do low churl. I mean, I just don't see any difference. I mean, unless I'm crazy, let me go back again. So split, split zoom. zoom. It does say low chirp, low chirp, but they look identical. Now let's say we wanted to zoom in on the bottom because we're looking at better bottom targets. You know, if we want to get a little bit better image of what's going on on the upside of this hump. On system C, They've done a pretty good job with this as well. We're gonna take our knob here and we're just gonna twist in. And that is going to allow us to get a bottom zoom. And you're gonna see the zoomed in portion of the bottom and you're gonna see a little bit of your entire water column there on the right hand side. To get back to a full screen without a zoom, we're just gonna twist that knob back out. When we take a look at several features offered with the TZ Touch 3 internal True Echo Chirp Fish Finder, we find that the other systems are missing or have limited versions of the features. None of the systems offer a catch identifier app like Furuno's TZ First Mate. System A and System C do not have a feature like AccuFish, and System B can only show fish depth, but not fish size. None of the systems have a bottom discrimination mode like TZ T3, but they do have bottom lock and bottom zoom. Well, that wraps up our fish finder testing. We took all four systems into different depths of water to see how they showed fish targets in the seafloor. We went over different wrecks and we were from a thousand feet of water to about 20 feet of water.
We went into each of the systems to show you how to manually change the gain and clutter controls. We also showed you how you can get into the history and change those controls as well. We took a look at how to mark a waypoint on a fish target itself and also how to change the picture advance mode on TZ Touch 3. We finished our testing with looking at features like AccuFish, bottom discrimination, bottom lock, and bottom zoom. Hopefully all of these tests help you to evaluate which fish finder is better for you, which one's easier to use, and which ones are a little more difficult. On the next episode, we're going to catch up with the captains and crew to find out what they think of each of the systems. Until then, tight lines. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and click on the bell below to get notifications for the next time we release new videos. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.